Born in 1962, Nigerian-born Hakim Kai Kazim started his career acting on the stages of the UK and since then his career has skyrocketed with numerous roles in local and international films. I have become who the government has made me be. Your government is about to pay a very steep price for interfering in our affairs. Hakim's impressive roles include acting in 24, Man on Ground, Black Roll, and his role in critically acclaimed Hotel Rwanda. Now living in California, Hakim's star seems to be growing even larger. Well, the man of the hour is here with us in studio. He's just let go of his phone and his keys. Are you very attached to those? I am, I am. You know, I never know what, what's going to come. So, <laughs> you know, it's always there. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> now, yeah. um, many of us have been watching your career for many years. And it, in fact, where, where it all started, Look I guess. I've got my glasses. There like, we go. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like that. Do, like, do you shift them when you read? I, yeah, yeah. Is that exactly. reading mode? When I read, it's like, this Talking is mode. reading mode. Oh, talking mode. Oh, there we there go. There go. we go. The, there you go. Well, watching your career from the very beginning, and, and I don't think there's anybody out there who's uh, uh, who is my age at least who wouldn't remember this one moment. Can we can we show you something? Yeah, please do. Yeah. Okay, we we need to show you something quickly. Right. We have a, a, a little clip. And as you have many times, this hot African sun, and I'm going to cook. Oui. Fresca goes down great with French fries. Nothing tastes like Fresca. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely love it. Do you showed the most calm one there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that was the calmest of, of them all. Do people yeah. still oh, walk yeah, up to you yeah. in the street and... All the time. I mean, kids that weren't even born when this was going on yeah. that still go, you know, hey, yeah, it's Fresca, it's Fresca. So, yeah, it's, it's stuck with me. I, I, I don't know if you've so, ever been asked uh -huh. to do this before on, on national television, but could you just... Do it please, again for please, once. Please, I mean, I've asked so many times, but this please. is it. This is it. It's over. Fresca is about to go now. Yes, this is the last time last Hakeem will time ever do this. Because nothing tastes like Fresca! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's Absolutely. It. That's the last ever time. All right, thank you very much for, <laughs> okay. for doing that for us. Now, But now, of course, you, you're, a, you're a Hollywood actor and you've had great roles in, in movies um, and, and you, you've, you've acted both locally and internationally as well. How has that experience been for you, that, that move from television to the, the, the big time in the movies? No, I mean, it's been, uh, uh, you know, it's a, a fantastic move. It's a great journey, and, uh, you know, I love doing what I'm, uh, I'm doing, and I'm very blessed and very lucky to have actually been able to make that yeah. transition, you know, and, uh, you know, and having moved to America, uh, to Los Angeles. The weird thing is I moved to L.A. Uh, about eight, nine years ago, yeah. and, um, and I've been sent back practically every year for a different show, for a yes. different film, which, you know, it, which is, uh, you know, it's fantastic because... Um, I love being in South Africa, and uh, and now it's uh, it's wonderful that internationally these people are now coming here to shoot in this in in this country, and it gives me a chance to really keep my my you know a hold here and my roots here. Yeah. You know. How does it work? Do you then once you move over it's over to LA, do you then choose which kind of roles you want to be involved in, or is it kind of like do you really, take what's coming? You know what? If you're lucky, you know every now and then, you know you, I mean, one is choosy to a certain extent, but yeah. you know you know you know I'm not quite there where you know scripts are. Hundreds of scripts are flying through the door, yep. but I am, you know, if, if I don't like a script, I won't do it. Yes. But if I do, and you know, and and it's there, and it feels good, then yes, of course, yeah. definitely. What, what has been some of your most enjoyable uh, roles that you've played so far? Well, I've really enjoyed doing this. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. And uh, and and this is a, a, a film um, which I also really enjoyed. A bit much more passionate about this sort of thing because it was a very African story, which yeah. was a very Nigerian story, uh, all about the Niger Delta. Um, so I really enjoyed doing that. And, I, you know, and then 24, um, and I'm really loving what I'm doing now, which is Black Sails, which they're yes. shooting at the Cape Town Film Studios. When are we going to get to see that? Well, you, I heard today or yesterday that uh, it, it, it's been sold. And I'm not, don't quote me on this, yeah, yeah. but maybe Mnet, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And um, so you guys will get to see it in the next year or two, I suppose. Fantastic. Yeah. But um, you're also doing great work. You were talking about people coming to South Africa now to shoot all these big movies. And you're an ambassador for Africa 2.0. 2. 2. Oh. Tell me yeah, about that, because I've is heard a, mutterings and uh, murmurings of it. Yeah, it's a sort of pan-African sort of civil society organization. And the main thing about Africa 2.0 is it, it's really about bringing young African leaders uh, 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 all, you know, together in a yeah. platform to sort of create a sustainable environment for, for, for improving where Africa is, is going. And really, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's a dink tank. Not a think tank, a dink tank. In other words, they're doing it. As well as thinking about it, they're actually doing yes. it. And um, 
you know, to be part of this organization has been fantastic, mainly because it's encouraging young people to really come together from all over the continent, all over the continent to come together to sort of think about ideas, put these ideas down and see if they can be uh, uh, put into action. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm very, very passionate about it. I've just become a global ambassador for them and uh, I uh, really want to get that, that word out there, you know, Fantastic. because we as Africans must start to, you know, take charge of our own future. True that. And it all so, starts here. We're going to be chatting to you a bit later on. I think there's, that there's a great deal, many young people out there that are obviously very interested and inspired by what you've just said. So stay tuned. We're going to be chatting to Hakim a bit later on. But right now, let's catch some fresh music. <laughs> I can't believe it.